What's up Guardians, it's your boy Doodle from Doodles of Destiny, and today I want to share a quick loadout you can use in the K1 Crew Quarters Master Lost Sector. But before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to receive Destiny 2 news, tricks and tips, and all sorts of Destiny 2 content. Now in Season 15 being Season of the Lost, I would highly recommend taking advantage of the Fusion Rifle meta. Pairing any fusion rifle with the armor mod Particle Deconstruction will give you a huge advantage in any high content activity. Today's modifiers are Hot Knife and Attrition, where Fallen Shanks now have Solar Shields and your shields and regeneration abilities are greatly decreased. Arc Burn, which increases the output damage of arc weapons and abilities for you and your enemies by 50% and Solar Shields, which can only be broken with a match-made weapon to the shield's element class or an anti-barrier weapon. Because the Lost Sector is Master difficulty, there will also be extra champions, shielded enemies, and match game enemies. The rewards dropping today are the Exotic Head Armor, being the Mask of Bacchus for the Hunters, the Precious Scars for the Titans, and the Dawn Cores for the Warlocks. There is also a chance of receiving other exotics from the loot pool, enhancement cores, and enhancement prisms. As far as weapons go, I use the exotic linear fusion rifle Arbalist with its new and improved anti-barrier mod, the solar pulse rifle BXR55 Battler, and the tarantula arc linear fusion rifle paired with particle deconstruction. As I mentioned before in this lost sector, you will be facing enemies with solar shields, specifically fallen shanks. You will also be facing fallen overload champions and barrier champions, so make sure you have the right weapons and your mods on to break their shields before you start, as your weapons and gear will become locked once you enter. Arbalist will generally be used for popping off barrier shields and shooting through all shielded enemies. Take advantage of this exotic's intrinsic trait, Compounding Force, which fires slugs that cause massive damage to enemy shields, stunning all barrier champions with a single shot. Pair this with the Particle Deconstruction mod, and you will have yourself a force to be reckoned with. There are four barrier champions in this lost sector, so if you are not using Arbalist, which I recommend you do, any auto rifle or Ariana's Vow will do just fine. The first barrier champion will spawn in the second room after you kill some adds. The second barrier champion will also spawn in the second room right before you cross over to the boss side. The third barrier champion will be with a ton of shanks as you make your way up this slope. And the final barrier champion will also appear in the boss room after you have damaged the boss to about half of its health. BXR55 Battler will be used for solar shields and ad cleanup, as there are a lot of adds or rank and file enemies in this lost sector, I would definitely recommend some sort of solar weapon that could be used while moving around. Tarantula will generally be used for champion and boss DPS, and when paired with the mod Particle Deconstruction and the 50% increase in arc damage will absolutely devour all enemies. As far as overload champions go, there are six in this lost sector. So I decided to use a stasis subclass with the armor mod Thermoclastic Strike, which allows me to stun overload champions using my melee ability and restores my melee ability each time I stun a champion. The first overload champion is in the first room as you enter. The second overload champion is also in the first room hiding behind this rock. The third overload champion is in the second room in the first wave of adds that will spawn. The next overload champion will also be in the second room as you make your way closer to the boss. The fifth overload champion will also be in the second room at the end of the walkway before you cross over to the boss arena. The final overload champion will spawn in the boss room with the boss. Combine all three of these weapons and or mods and you may find this lost sector a lot easier. Like, 
way easier. Anyways, Guardians, that's all the time I have to focus on this specific Lost Sector. If you find this video useful and or informative, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And as always, this is Doodle, from Doodles, of Destiny.